Hello and welcome to the How to Register Online video. Before you can register online, you do have to be web authorized. You can be web authorized through meeting with your academic advisor or a counselor ahead of time. As you can tell, I've already logged on to my MyWCC account. From here, select Student Information Center, Scheduling, and Registration. Your personal information will appear. Be sure to verify any of all of it and then click continue to register. Make sure that you are in the current term. Um, I will be registering for summer 2017 semester. Now there are several different ways that you can register for classes from this screen. You can select course, then this will appear. Select campus, so we will select the Wallace, that's the Dothan campus. I can select by instructor and by courses. So for the sake of this video, let's take a look at CIS and maybe the CIS 146 course. If there are certain days that I'm interested in only it pulling up, I can select those days or I can just select submit and all the courses for CIS 146 on the Wallace Dothan campus will appear. Now as you can tell, there are certain classes that are open and are closed. The class that is closed, you will notice that the call number is not blue. So it will not allow you to register for a closed course. Now, uh, if I find one, let's say that I like this course here, I will simply click on the blue numbers, which is the course call number, and hit Add Selected Course. Current classes will show the class that I've registered for. So I'm currently registered for the CIS 146 Section 1 course that's going to meet on Monday and Wednesdays from 8 to 10. Okay. Now, another way of registering for the courses is to simply, if you have the catalog in front of you, which you can go to your my, uh, the Wallace website, wallace.edu, uh, put your cursor over Current Student, and then Current Schedule of Classes, select Summer 2017, and then navigate to the page uh, of the courses that you are looking for. Let's see, the next class we may want to register for, let's say maybe an Art 100, which is Art Appreciation. So I can simply find the course I'm looking for and then write down the call number, which is this number right here. So that's 00501. I can navigate back to this screen and simply type in the call number of the course and then select Add Course. Now this course has a conflict with the CIS 146. That means that it will not allow me to register for that class particularly because I'm already taking a class during that time. So that will allow me to go back to the next one. So let's look at the 00502 course. 00502 and then add course. It shows this is a repeat of another course I've taken before. So if you've ever taken a class before and you're trying to register, it will alert you, but it will allow you to take the class again. So you can see that I have registered for that art appreciation class um, at this time. Let's say I decide that I do not want to take the Art 100 because I have taken it. Maybe I want to go ahead and drop that class off my schedule and just do so by simply drop course. Okay. Once you've added all the courses you are interested in taking for the semester, select I am done adding courses. And then your credit hours and contact hours will show as well as how much um, you would owe for the semester. If you have any financial aid coverage, it will also be noted. And then you can simply go to complete registration and you can pay online. Or if you have financial aid, you can click complete registration and it will apply your financial aid. You do not want to complete registration until you are 100% satisfied with the course, courses that you have selected. I do hope this has helped you. Um, if you want to leave that open-ended, just select I'm finished and that will allow you to go back in and make any changes at any point in time prior to the deadline date to pay. I hope this has helped you all. Have a good day.